Hello you guys, how are you guys doing today? My name is Shade and I know it's been a little while, so I decided that I'd do a 100% totally biased favorite couple for yaoi anime and we're just gonna stick with yaoi anime because we are not gonna dive into yaoi manga. That's just too much. It'll take me probably a week to just list down all my favorite. And I hope you guys watch till the end of the video. I'm gonna be starting with the worst to the best. I'm gonna talk kind of fast and keep moving because we do have 20 animes to get through. So yeah, I hope you guys like it. So starting with number 20, we have I Know Kusabi with Ias and Mink and Iki as the couple. Now these two are kind of like my guilty pleasure, but I totally dig like the character designs. And I don't really mind the master servant thing, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave that at that. So you Number 19, we have Hyaku Jitsu Nobara, aka Maiden Rose. So the couple is Claus Von Wolf's and Taki Raisin. Uh, just like number 20, this is kind of like a guilty pleasure. And I just really, really dig this manga cast drawings as well. So <laughs> And at number 18, do not hate me. We have super lovers with Haru Kaido and Dan Kaido. Surprisingly, it's actually not the age gap that really bothers me the most. Um, it's actually just the feel of these two characters. They still feel like really sibling-like and brotherly to me. So that's like one of the main reasons these two are definitely way lower on my list. Sorry to super lover fans out there. Um, I did bring you guys this was a totally biased video. And number 17, I have Tightrope with Yonosuke Uhara and Naoki Satoya. I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've seen this anime, but I do know that I love this manga's works. And I do know that this anime left a really cute, fluffy feeling, so I'm just gonna place this one here. So you know, and at number 16, we do have Yerich and Bitch Boo. And since there's so many couples in here, I'm just gonna say the main couple, which is Yu Kashima and Takashi Tono. I love this anime, I love this manga, I love everything about it. The, but the main main couple hasn't really started their romance, so that's why it's lower on the list. But for reading the manga, the main characters are finally starting a little something something soon and becoming something, so I hope that happens soon. <sighs> And at number 15, we have Tokyo Sei with Hikaru Kusakabe and Rihito Sajo. This one is always gonna leave a fluffy present feeling in my heart. And I love Asumiko Nakamura's works. And the anime was just beautiful. So I'm just gonna pop this one here. Oh, yeah. Go back. Moving right along, we have number 14 with Hadbir Child with the couple that I'm choosing is Kuroda and Tsukishima. Obviously because they were the most memorable couple to me and I just love their story. So I'm just gonna place this one right here before I start crying. Yaru. So for number 13, which is kind of strange because I haven't seen the anime, but I have 10th count with Riku Kurosei and Taraomi Shirotami. Now this anime has been delayed a couple times, so I'm just gonna put it on this list just so that it kind of like use my telepathy power to be like, make this anime happen. And that's why it's on the list. So at number 12, I have Hitori Jimmy My Hero with the couple, Kosuke Oshiba and Masahiro Setagawa. I'm not gonna include the other couple because I feel like they weren't really the main focus. And like based on my not so reliable memories and deep feelings from within, I feel like this two couple really did fought for each other and their romance. So I put them a little higher on the list. And at number 11, we have Hyperventilation with Seong Ho and Myung Yi. Now this one, it was a yummy, yummy anime. There wasn't that much meat to like grind with these two. But it's okay because they're already doing their own grinding. You know, you know. And like the couple contrast was cute. We have this kind of like athletic and popular semi, and then like this kind of weak and shy uke, and it just feels right to place it right here. <laughs> so 
So yes, let's move right on to the top 10 couples. We have number 10 with Dakaichi and it is Junta Azumaya and Takato Saijo. Now this one is kind of like a guilty pleasure. Like I shouldn't really like how everything started, but I did kind of grow into really liking these two. Up front, Junta looks really like prince-like and innocent, but he's actually really dark and mysterious and kind of evil in his own little ways. And then we have Takato who kind of has that like mean look to him. But he's actually super like innocent and oblivious to all the bad things around him. So I think that's a really cute contrast between the characters themselves. <laughs> Standing in number 9, I have given with Rizuka Uenoyama and Mafuyu Sato. These two are like my babies. I love them so much. They're so cute and so grown up. And I hope to wish them thrive as a couple. These two are a new couple and their love is just starting to flourish even more. And we're finally going to get to see how they are as boyfriends. And I'm not sure if this is gonna shock some of you guys out there, but at number eight we have Junju Romantica with Akihiko Usami and Misaki Takahashi. Now these two hold a really special place in a lot of Fujojin's hearts just because these two are like the classics basically. But I actually did watch the Gaiichi first so that was kind of like my classic. So this couple to me feels kind of like a mirrored couple and we have seen their love grow and flourish and we have enjoyed our fair share of Misaki and Usagi-san. I'll never tell a manga got to stop her yaoi manga because yaoi mangas should continue on forever but all I gotta say is that I feel like their romance is set in stone and so they're at a point where I'm happy to have been a part of their romance journey. And at lucky number seven I have Love Stage with Ryoma Ichijo and Izumi Sena. Love Stage to me felt like a big pink cotton candy that was sweet and fluffy and so I enjoyed my time with that and I just feel like everything just kind of fell into place really well. There's not like any loose ends or anything so I just feel like Love Stage is cute and the couple was enjoyable. At number 6, I have Koizuru Boken with Tetsuhiro Morinaga and Suichi Tatsumi. Now, I thought you guys might be like, are you serious? But then I'm kind of like, yeah. I'm basing this off of the manga as well. This couple is kind of like my guilty pleasures. I really did love how Morinaga did treat Soichi later on in the manga and he's kind of like the perfect boyfriend. He cooks clean and takes care of Soichi's everything and Soichi's just kind of like whatever still. And I know that that's kind of irritating to some people but I'm just kind of like that's his character. That's literally who he is. So yeah, before I continue talking about these two, I'm just going to move on. <laughs> Now, standing at number 5, we have Kyojin Zoku no Hanayome, also known as the Titan's Bride, with Kaos Lao Baisa and Koichi Mizuki. And Kaos is such a hunk. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Kyoji? Kyoji, I pray for you, man. I just feel so good reading this manga. Character design is like top notch. To me, Koichi himself is a hunk of a man, but in front of Kaos, he just melts. And in contrast to number 5, number 4 is an older anime. It is Fuyu no Seimi with Toma Kusaka and Keichiro Akizuki and this one still hurts. Their romance was just like so short but so beautiful. Tragic and painful but then still like... Beautiful. So oddly enough for hurting me this much deep inside to this day, uh, I think this is the reason why I'm placing this one pretty high on my list. Which actually surprised even me that I loved them more than I thought I did. And talking about surprising myself with this list, my number three is Lang Chi, aka Sparrow Pack, with, and yes, I'm gonna use the Japanese name, and it is Tamoku Ki and Yo Kai. I loved how annoying <laughs> Yo Kai was. Started out kind of rocky, kind of weird, but later on, they just grew on to me so much. This is why I love Chinese entertainment so much in general, because Chinese entertainment, it's not really just meets the eye, and then I feel like there's so much more involved, like things from the past or things about magic or things about karma or like anything like that you wouldn't really consider to be involved with the characters or storyline it will like just kind of shows up out of nowhere and surprise you and i really truly love the storyline and the characters and all of that <laughs> 
礼儀共に生き名魂を同じくす陰と陽を和合し万物を安らかにする Now we're finally at the bottom two, and you guys, when I was making this list, it was such a hard thing for me to decide which couple was gonna be one and two because I love them both so much. But again, I'm surprising myself with this list, and standing at number two, we have Seikai Ji Hatsukoi with Masamune Takano and Itsu Onodera. If I go a couple months without this anime and it's just been stressful and life has just been hitting me hard, I will go back to watch this anime and I will literally just like de stress and like take a step back and just be like, you know what? Life is pretty simple after all. I need to stop thinking so hard and just making myself more stressed. I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from, but that's just how I feel with this anime. But now that just got me thinking, what is your de stressing anime?、Um, I also love how much Takano loves to be too, even though he acts like he doesn't. Like in the work office, he acts like a boss, like he is. Kind of treats Rita like a company slave, but then at home, he's definitely a D2 boy, meaning like mama boy, but he's a D2 boy, and he's all over him, like at his feet, trying to just gain his love. And I love it so much, I don't care that they haven't finalized their feelings. Number one, as a couple, is just so strong. They're definitely not the perfect couple, but they've been through so much. I just feel like they need to be together and they deserve one another. The couple that takes the crown is Saizuru Toriwa Habatakanai The Clouds Gather with Chikara Domeki and Yashiro. There's a lot to say about this one, and I'm obviously going to talk about the manga as well, but these two are definitely. A troublemaking couple because you want them to be together so so much and yet they're not. Yeah, like if you dare pull them apart after all of this, like I'm gonna cry. I'm talking to Yoneda sensei, I haven't seen the anime still. Every relationship is not a fairy tale, there's not happily ever after, and these two really portray s that perfectly. Because, as we all know, Yashiro has lost so much in his life, and he kind of started out with nothing. And Domiki, I guess, in a way, started with a lot of things and ended up with nothing. They really just complete one another, and then when they finally like start to open up and just experiencing this true love together, you're rooting for them to be together. It's like, what was all of this? For you know, like I'm getting too personal about this. They're just trying to get to the light at the end of the tunnel, and if you block the tunnel up, what is the point for us to have come this far? Do you see my imagery? And trust me, I love a good tragedy, but these two, I'm just like, they will be together, they will be happy. This will not be a tragedy. And I just love, love, love Yashiro so much. He is so freaking sexy. And Domiki is just adorbs. And so, yeah, these two are my favorite couple from Yaoi anime. And if you guys did not see、um, other animes on here, it's probably because I have not watched and read it or it's just lower than 20. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys hated my list because I think some of you guys might hate my list. Or let me know what your list is. You guys don't have to do 20, you guys could do like top. Five or ten, obviously, because this list is long enough as it is. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I did a little poll, and a lot of people like Instagram. I'm gonna start posting a lot more on Instagram. If my videos are delayed and something happened as well, I will be posting on what those reasons are. If you guys don't care, that's fine as well. Just come back to my channel and just enjoy some y a o i time alone with me and just talk about y a o i you know. De stress. And so, the usual YouTube outro. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you have not.、Uh, comment down below maybe your list, your top five of your favorite couples. And I'm curious to know it doesn't have to be Yaoi, but what is your favorite de stressing anime? Alright, you guys. Until next time, I'm checking out.